hello and welcome friend so in this video we are going to see a personal expense management application where we can add our credit card details like uh, what type of credit card we have and uh, then we can uh, manage the transaction like what we have done today what we uh, what we are going to do uh, what we are what we did in yesterday so like this we can manage the transaction and uh, then uh, it will uh, do the plus minus and it will do everything so like uh, then we can uh, we can add the multiple cards and we can reset the credit card balance as well so i have already installed the application in my epic uh, in my system like in my mobile so it is already running so as you can see the local host slash credit and to get this window what you what you need to do you need to go in the spec of uh, the browser so just uh, do the inspect and then after that you need to click this three dot and then in three dot uh, you can see the more tools and more tools you can go in the remote devices so after installing the apk you need to go on the remote devices and then you will able to find out this one this so on click on inspect you will able to see the next window like this like uh, the application which is running on my mobile you can able to see on the browser also so you can debug each and everything and whatever we have kept in the console.log we will get it printed on this console okay so what is this application let me sh show you the demo so like uh, as you can see we have the bank name then card name it will ask for card name then what is the card limit then yeah, as you can see i have added two card one kotak another one is SBSB, SBI card okay and in transaction you can see this one like uh, whatever the transaction we are gonna do we will add each and every transaction and it will do the plus or minus as you can see the amount uh, on my quota card that, that is limit is 39,000 which is remaining limit and actual limit is 49,000 I have spent around 10,000 so like this it will do and in sbsb in sbi card the remaining limit is twenty thousand and actual limit is only twenty thousand so expense money is zero so we just go to the transaction so like just uh, remove this uh, above two above two and sbsb sbi also so eight nine eight thousand nine hundred from kotak around uh, like reason is personal and uh, on 12 3 this one transaction and this transaction like uh, when we'll add it, it will be 10,000 okay so that's why the 10,000 is minus and let me reset my quota card as well so as you will click on the reset card it will it will reset the amount and it will update it it's 49,000 which was the actual amount of my card so again I can add some transactions so let me add uh, one more so i will say i have spent some amount in the market so i will say market and then we'll add our amount as uh, 5500 okay date will be 12 slash 09 so 9th of december and we can select the one of the card so let me select the quota card okay and just say add transaction so transaction added uh, successfully and you will see the last one this 5500 has been added now if i will go in the dashboard i will see the remaining amount in my quota card is 49 43500 and expense money is 50, uh, like 5500 so actual limit actual limit was will be like this this only so we are not touching the actual amount but we are touching the remaining limit and uh, the expense money and the whatever we are going to do what are the transaction it will get added here so let me add one more so i will say fees i have paid around uh, 500 5000 and then it will be with december of uh, 6 uh, and again kotak or again you can say select sbi also and say add transaction and then it will get added and the amount is also got deleted successfully so 
so the amount expense money also updated and you can see the SBI uh, SBI got inserted here is an SV on date this one okay so in this video we are going to see this application like how it's working and how we did uh, all this functionality so like this uh, whatever the card we uh, we will add it here it will get added and then it will comes in your drop down so this one i will say sm and card limit 30000 so this card is also added and as you will click on the this window and select card you will see now three radio buttons with three card detail card name so whatever you will select it will take the, that details and it will do the operation so we'll see the code of this with uh, this application how we'll do this one so now come to the coding part so like uh, as this is application will have uh, which have the side menu so we require the side menu application for doing this application and uh, so we'll, we are going to create a side menu application so just follow this command like i only start sql let's uh, side menu so it will uh, create a side menu application which will which will have the blank details like it will have some predefined side menu and all so we can replace it as per our requirement and then just go inside and then we need to create a database services like from where we can uh, we'll do all the database related functionality and we will access these from our credit page so like write we will write uh, all the functionality here and we will just call the function from the credit page so, and create a credit page also then um, for uh, sqlite uh, we need to in like we need to install the native libraries sqlite and cordova plugin as well for cordova SQLite storage and then uh, at the SQLite portal as well. So ju just uh, like after do after running this app, these all commands, we need to open our application with any of the editors. So in this video, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code. So we need to go. We need to do some changes on the app model or TS file. We require the HTTP client model in this uh, application. So just import it and uh, add in the imports HTTP client module and then uh, we need to import the SQL light porter and SQL light as well and uh, add them into the provider so we need to add these three entries in app model or TS file and uh, then this is the app component or TS file in that uh, like uh, what uh, what type of routing we need to define like what type of side menu we want so on click on transactions I'm going to call the route uh, of my on the click on transition I'm going to ca call the route of my credit icon as the home so that's why you are able to see the icon as home and for reset I'm going to call the route of my URL of my home and as you will go in the app routing module.ts file you will able to see this much like on whenever the will get the URL as credit we'll call the credit module and ever, whenever we get the URL of home, we will call the home module. So like this, we need to define the routing as well. So after doing this much, uh, the last one is inside the asset. We need to create the input credit.sql. Like this is the SQL which will have this created create table details. So I have copied already in the notepad file. So you need to do like this so create table if not exist create details which the cre credit details will have the integer primary key auto incremented which is the id uh, then card name bank name expensed left money and then card limit this much detail will have in the credit details table and then we'll have one more table which is credit expense transaction in that we'll have the id then uh, transaction details date of transaction amount and then card id so these two table we need to create and if it is not exist if it is exist then we will not touch it we will just do our operation only so like this we need to add one uh, sql 
script inside a set folder which we, we are gonna use in the service class i will show you that also